What's going on guys? My name of course is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings franchise here on Madden 12 and today the Vikings will take on the New Orleans Saints at home one week after knocking out the New York Giants and ending a five game losing streak. It's been a tale of two seasons so far for Minnesota having started the year off at 6-0 and following it up with five straight losses in which it only scored 20 points or under in each of those contests. So with the win over the New York Giants last week the Vikings hope to get back on track and today it's a showdown against the 7-5 Saints as the Vikings look to stay in line with the Detroit Lions in the NFC North playoff hunt as we're entering the final quarter of the regular season. Four games left for Minnesota. It's a very important stretch as Adrian Peterson comes out of the tunnel and he and Christian Ponder look to lead the Vikings to their second straight victory in a row. We'll begin today's action with the Saints on offense, second down and three. With the Saints out of the week, guys set two receivers out, Marcus Colston on the left, and Breeze will play action to Wallace and throw over the left side. It's caught by Alexander Torres across the 40-yard line, good for 15 yards. The Saints, of course, trailing the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC South. Both of these teams in very similar situations as Markingham takes his handoff across midfield, and he enters Vikings territory with a first down. And now facing third and four. Breeze handoff to Ingram up the middle met by a linebacker and he is tackled for the first down after crossing the 35 but facing third down again Breeze out of the shotgun he'll take the snap and sit in the pocket throws deep on the right side it's hauled in by Mark Ingram inside the 10 and he has a first down to the Minnesota Vikings 5 27 yards on the connection and first down in goal Saints as Breeze takes the snap drops back end zone it's caught by Teague and they'll call it Hey, the ref comes over. Touchdown, Saints. What a first drive for New Orleans. They're on the board here early. Here is the replay as Breeze has all day to throw. Throws a jump ball in the end zone over the head of Morris Claiborne. And it's a 7-0 lead now for the Saints as they have the game's first points. And the Vikings will begin this game at their own 9-yard line. Second down and 11. Three receivers out for Christian Ponder as he takes the snap. And he'll find Cassius Stevens over the middle. The slot receiver, the rookie out of Cornell University, taking over for Percy Harvin. He gets the first down and now handoff to A.D. Cuts it back up the middle. A first down for Adrian. 11 yards on this run. His second on the day. And we'll go ahead to third down and five. Ponder sends Logan in motion and takes the snap out of the shotgun. He'll throw to the left side in traffic and it's knocked away on the play intended for Jamal. Mez Logan and of course it's been an up and down year for the Vikings offense but now Drew Brees takes over again out of the gun takes the snap and lobs it deep down the sideline he's got a man it's hauled in by Pittman and he has a first down after a 49 yard connection with him and Drew Brees and now they're in Vikings territory Ingram out of the shotgun he'll take the draw and Keystone Terry finally drags him down after a first down handoff of over 20 yards on the play second and 10 for Brees in the pocket a three man Rush cannot apply any pressure. And Breeze pass is picked off by Morris Claiborne at the 8-yard line. He'll break it to the outside and look to turn the corner. Oh, goes Morris Claiborne across the 40, and he will score. It's a pick six for the Minnesota Vikings. They're finally on the board. The momentum has shifted, and the Vikings have tied this game up at 7 off the interception by Drew Breeze. What a play by Morris Claiborne. And now the Vikings come hot in their next drive, and it's to Charvin Bell sacking Drew Breeze back at the 35-yard line and forcing second down and long. Breeze will throw again a four-man rush from Minnesota. Pass over the middle is complete to Torres. He has 14 yards. It'll set up a third down and short. After a false start, it's third down and eight. From the 45-yard line, Breeze out of the gun. He takes a shot deep down the field looking for Colston. He's got at the 12-yard line and tackled at the 7. It's a big first down for the Saints. 48-yard connection down to the 7. It's first down and goal for Drew Brees. Takes a snap from under center. Strikes it to the end zone. And it's intercepted by Keystone Terry. He'll take it out and be tackled at the 10-yard line in the Vikings secondary. Comes through with two clutch turnovers over the span of the last two drives. 
And the Vikings have the ball now on offense with a tie game. And Jamez Logan can't haul in this grab as he's hit on the play across the 30. He would have had a big first down, and now it is third down and seven for Christian Ponder. He's taking a shot, and where is this ball going? He sails this pass intended for Jamez Logan. That one was at least overthrown by 10 or 15 yards. Here is the replay, and obviously, Jamez is breaking to the inside, but not that far. That one's almost intercepted. Lucky for Christian Ponder, it was not. And it's Saints football now, third down and six. Trying to get across the 46-yard line for a first down. It is pass intended for Alexander Torres. is incomplete hit on the play by Morris Claiborne. And it's Vikings football again. Misdirection handoff now to Adrian Peterson, and he will be caught in the back field for a loss of two yards that'll cause Christian Ponder to spread it out on third down and 12 four wide outs Jamez in the slot and Ponder connects with Larry Fitzgerald across the Saints 45 yard line first down Vikings as they are in New Orleans territory with under two minutes to go in the first half Ponder all day he's got Fitzgerald again across the 30 it's a first down to the 27 yard line easily in field goal range and now a jet sweep to Cassius Stevens looking for a block from Rudolph he does doesn't get it he gets six yards in the run and that'll bring up a third down and one Adrian looking for the first down he's powerful and he gets it across the 15 the Vikings looking to put seven on the board before halftime and now first and ten for Christian Ponder takes the snap and scans the field rolls out to his left no pressure being applied is patient and throws to Cassius Stevens he's got at the one yard line great play by Cassius to come back to the quarterback and he makes the catch of the one and then Adrian Peterson you know what we do guys touchdown Adrian one yard touchdown score the Vikings extend their lead to 14 to 7 with their first offensive score of the day their touchdown of course coming in the earlier in the second quarter when it was Morris Claiborne intercepting Drew Brees for about 95 yards and we'll jump into action here in the second half now Vikings on offense Ponder escaping the pocket he's got running room across the 35 he'll slide to the 39 and not absorb a hit he gets 11 yards and a Vikings first down now Ponder draw play Peterson up the middle running room juking to the outside up to the first down marker and they'll give him the first down at midfield only his seventh rush of the day they're definitely keeping Adrian fresh for the second half third and nine now Ponder to the outside and Jamez Logan hauls in the first down grab 11 yards yards his first catch on the day he's had a few opportunities but at least he makes this one count third and 12 now Ponder needs another big play trying to escape the rush and he's taken down by Sean or Cedric Ellis I mean not Sean Ellis and that is a big sack for the Saints as it causes Sebastian Janikowski to have to make a field goal that would tie the NFL record and he can't put it through just short good accuracy but not enough leg rarely do you ever have to say that about Sebastian Janikowski Saints take over now great field position Mark Ingram continuing to run well on this game averaging 8.2 yards a carry on only 10 carries second down and inches Breeze open man on the outside as Alexander Torres and a first down for New Orleans as he is inbounds and now they have the ball at the 12 yard line single back in the backfield is Mark Ingram he takes the snap up the middle and he is hit after getting five tough running yards and he has first and goal for the Saints will go to second down Tegan motion handoff to Wallace up the middle powering his way and he breaks the plane of the goal line touchdown New Orleans as they tie this game up late in the third quarter it's a 14-14 deadlock here with three minutes to go Adrian up the middle the ball is on the ground and the Saints have it Cedric Ellis picks it up Adrian fumbles the ball after getting the first down yardage we'll take a look at the replay and perhaps this is a play yes Derek Mason will throw out the challenge flag and the Vikings are challenging the ruling of a fumble and we'll see here Adrian takes the hand off a spin move it avoids a two-yard loss and then he gets a big gain and we'll see here it's very very close look at the his right knee and look at the ball at the same time right now it appears the knee is not touching the ground here this angle it's hard to see if he's touching any of the of the turf here the Metrodome and then the ball comes out that's a really hard call to even look at conclusively but the Vikings do win their challenge and they have the ball at their own 22nd yard line 
22 yard line, I mean. What am I saying? Ponder rolling out now. He's being chased on the play, and he'll have to throw it out of bounds and just throw it away and live to play another down. Second down and 10. Hand off to Adrian. Met in the backfield by two Saints defenders, and he goes down for losing two yards. No spin move evading the defenders this time. So Ponder on third down and 12. In the pocket, patient, and he has a wide open Cassius Stevens over the middle. The rookie's got a first down, and once again, Cassius is shaking up he has been hurt a lot this year and he has not been able to stay consistently on the field on a game-to-game -game basis the Vikings go back to the ground attack and Adrian Peterson almost converts for the first down as we see cash has just a minor injury as most of them have been this year and now Gerhardt up the middle he'll convert for the first down and Cassius Stevens will stay in the game by the way to play slot receiver Harrison also gets some snaps as well first and 10 for Ponder good protection and he waits for Fitzgerald to get separation he has a first down inside the 15 third catch on the day for Larry Fitzgerald as Ponder keeps this ball keeps the field spread out on third down and 12 and he'll hold on doesn't want to take a chance now rolling out to his right and Ponder evades the sack but he can't escape the second and third defender he's tackled by Grove and that'll cause Sebastian Janikowski to attempt a 42 yard field goal snap spot kick is up and the Vikings take the lead 17 to 14 with 8 16 remaining in the fourth quarter and we jump now to where the Vikings have the football inside of three minutes to go in the game. Ponder hand off to Dexter McCluster, tries to evade the defender, and he spins his way up ahead to the 33-yard line, a gain of three, tackled by Dante Hightower. And then third down, Adrian going to the outside. He's tackled close to the first down marker. This one is very close. They'll have to bring out the sticks to measure it. And if this is the first down, the Vikings are in a good spot, but he's about four inches shy, it looks like. And an injury timeout will not even give the Vikings or bring them to the two-minute warning. So the Saints have the ball a little bit of extra time now and three timeouts remaining. Drew Brees in the pocket, plenty of time to throw. And his pass is nearly intercepted again by Morris Claiborne. Good coverage by the Vikings secondary. And now third down and ten. Breeze needs to get the ball to the 39-yard line for a first down. He takes the snap. Open man on the outside is Smith. He has a first down. Marlon Smith to the 40, and it's first down coming up for the Saints. They fall back to second down and 15. Two backs in the backfield next to Breeze out of the shotgun. He'll take a shot downfield to the sideline, and out of bounds is Marlon Smith. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, and Breeze couldn't win that battle. So third and 15 now for the Saints. They have to get to the 49-yard line of Minnesota to get the conversion. On third and 15, they'll just dump it off to Smith again, and he'll get six and make it fourth down and nine. Last shot for the Saints. Got to get the first down. Breeze to throw. He'll take a shot long down the field. It's knocked away by Keystone Terry, but two timeouts left for the Saints. A little bit of time for them to get this ball back. On third and 14, the Vikings play conservatively and hand the ball off to Monty Ball, and a holding penalty in the Vikings will negate any yardage and also push them back, which helps the Saints, of course, with a punt. And so they get the ball back, actually, plenty of time because the penalty stopped the clock. 57 seconds to go for Drew Brees, no timeouts. Rainbow to the outside, it's hauled in by Smith, he takes a shot of the 30, and it's a first down to the 32 yard line, 38 seconds to go, third down and 10 for Breeze, in the pocket, loading up and going long, it's incomplete, nearly intercepted on the play by Keystone Terry, and that brings up fourth down and 10, can the Saints get to the 42 yard line, Breeze with all day, waiting, now taking his shot, and it's incomplete, Keystone Terry again on coverage, tremendous showing by the Vikings secondary late in the game and actually throughout the course of this game they played very well forcing two turnovers and making life hard for Drew Brees in the passing game he's not accustomed to 14 points in offense and the Vikings win a low scoring matchup today at the Metrodome final score is 17-14 in favor of the Minnesota Vikings getting their second win in succession it wasn't an overly impressive day by anybody in particular on offense. Mark Ingram had a good day, so did Larry Fitzgerald on a handful of passes. And we saw Cassius Stevens make a few big plays. We like to see him be more consistent with his health. That's one thing that's really holding him back. He's very effective when he's on the field, but you just can't trust him that much. The standings now show the Lions are only one game ahead of the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings on a two-game winning streak, and this week...
Next episode, guys, they're taking on the Green Bay Packers, headed to Lambeau Field in December. It's always an entertaining showdown for the Vikings and the Packers, especially when the, the stakes are this high at 8-5 and five for both teams. One team will have nine wins unless there's a tie next week. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. I tremendously appreciate it, and thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next episode.